every civilization needs writing. And writing doesn't have to be phonetic. It doesn't have to communicate sounds of speech. You can have writing systems in which symbols represent words, ideas, but every civilization has to have a way to store knowledge, to pass knowledge on. There's a great deal of disagreement about why writing was invented. It was invented in Mesopotamia and in Egypt, almost concurrently. And there's the camp that believes that writing was developed for religious reasons, that the ideology demanded that the king write down incantations or the chief priest write down spells and rituals. There's another camp that believes that writing was needed for taxation, for census, for practical economic reasons, for trade, for prices, so they could talk to one another about the things they were buying and selling. The natural way to think about inventing writing is to look at a picture of something and then use that picture to represent the thing. So you see that in the Chinese characters, you see that in the Egyptian hieroglyphics. The Phoenicians did something much bolder. They went for the sounds of the word and they captured the sounds. Once you can do that, you can recreate any word from a very, very limited alphabet. With alphabetic writing, of course, it's very efficient and it's very accurate. Instead of trying to memorize hundreds or thousands of pictographs, you only need a couple of dozen letters and you can capture any word in the world. It was such a difficult thing to invent and learn that it was relentlessly borrowed by every civilization that came in contact with the Phoenicians. And they adapted it to their own purposes, but the roots of our written language today are right there in that Phoenician alphabet. Until literacy became a common skill, the ability to read, the ability to write, was so highly valued. Great masters studied in order to be able to communicate and record the histories and the beliefs and the ideas of the people.